good afternoon everyone i hope you are all having a fantastic day i am back with the sims 4 i'm back with christine and philip oh my goodness i am so 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 sorry for kind of abandoning this family and abandoning this let's play the reason why I did was because whenever I started recording it always crashed and it wouldn't save at the right point and it was just a bit of a nightmare but I now have better Wi-Fi, I now have a better system so I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that it won't crash anymore and that we can just play the game and I can edit it properly. Now I did actually record some footage but I think I'm just going to start off normally and just start from where they are now we have uh christine and philip this is them here and then we have their adopted daughter who is um anna she is over on the computer right now and they adopted her i think in the last episode i can't I can't quite remember philip got a job because they're actually very very low on funds uh so we need him to go and get a job and he's currently late to work so we'll get him to go to work and christine is doing all right in terms of selling stuff on plopsy we got an offer on some of the socks and we are on the aspiration we just need to sell a knitted object on plopsy so this should hopefully no wait we need to click on the click on the object okay so if we ship it on plopsy we'll get 73 simoleons for that which is pretty good yes so we've completed the milestone now so all we have to do now is we have to complete 10 excellent knittables we have to successfully gift three knittables and then we have to successfully show off your knitted sweater to another sim so in terms of the knitting skill we actually have six which has gone up fairly quickly oh my goodness everyone's late to school oh no this is this is ridiculous oh oh dear Anna's very very late to school <laughs> but in terms of Christine I don't think I'll get her to join a career there wasn't a new career with the knitting skill but most people did say that plopsy is just kind of a thing that you need to do on the side it doesn't get you a lot of simoleons so that's why I've had to send Philip to work um, but that's the only thing uh, he actually missed work which isn't great he's a fisherman so he's not getting paid that much he's well 33 simoleons an hour we also have a um, um, noodles the dog noodles the dog is doing well so yeah it's 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 a it's an interesting family we've got here philip and christine are doing well so i think what i'll do is i'll get christine to kind of work on a few more knitting things we currently have some knitted items i don't know what's going on with this one. Oh, this one's on plopsy so we've got the, the the hat on plopsy so hopefully we can get some money for that so yeah i'll get christine to knit some things her her needs are fine and i will keep updated with you later i'll let you know what's going on okay so christine has finished some of the projects that she was doing so she knitted this little ottoman or poof whatever you want to call it it's so adorable um but i think we could get some money some good money for that well we we gifted a jumper that she made for philip so hopefully we can get philip to wear that maybe one time and we also just got this uh, notification pop-up saying that the listing has expired so we need to return that back onto plopsy so let me do that just now we currently have a thunderstorm in progress so we're just going to list that on plopsy i think we could probably just gift these to be honest oh philip and anna have become good friends that's good i mean i think anna has fitted into the family really nicely she's really enjoying her time there and i also like the fact i mean this house uh, was created by someone else it wasn't created by me and originally it was a one bedroom house i added this kind of extension onto the back for anna to be honest i actually quite like the fact that it's separate it kind of gives her a little bit more space i don't know why there's a chess table out here i don't know what what i was doing there the nice thing about anna is that she's very interested in like everyone else's interests so like she's really into knitting because of christine she's kind of and i also want her to get involved in some fishing a bit like philip because that's kind of philip's area of expertise so i think i want to do that over the next couple of days uh, sim days anyway i don't know how long this let's play is gonna last i just think uh we need to complete the aspiration we just in my head it was kind of like a thing that i needed to complete 
so that's what I'm going to do. But uh, our money situation still isn't very good. We've only got 400 simoleons in the bank. So we might have to be a knitting machine and just try and sell as much as possible. Um, if we get really, really desperate, we might just have to drag it and sell it. Let's see how we get on. I mean, it's, uh, it's 5.23 at night. All of their needs are a little bit bad. I might get them to have like a little family meal and then I'll catch up with you before they head to bed and I'll let you know what's happened. Okay, so basically they had some dinner and they all just kind of passed out. <laughs> uh, they all just went to bed automatically. I didn't tell them to go to bed. And plus there's a thunderstorm, so there's not really a lot they can do. They're all tense and stuff like that. I didn't get Christine to make anything else, but of course I'll get her to make loads and loads of stuff in the morning. They're just about to wake up, I think. So again, I'll just get them to have some food and get their needs up a little bit. Christine's just woken up. She's going to the loo. So we've made two excellent items. We need to get to eight. We'll probably make about three or four today. It happens quite quickly. We also need to do this, which is successfully shelf your knitted sweater to another sim. We can do that fairly easily. All we have to do is just, we do have a knitted sweater that we actually bought. So we don't have to actually make one. We can just add it to our wardrobe, which we'll do. And then we can go into create a sim and we can go and put it on Christine so that she can wear it during the day so I will do that the hat is on Plopsy I'm also going to put the the poof on Plopsy so that we can get a bit more money obviously I'd like her to give all this stuff to like charity and stuff because I think that she's the kind of person that would do that our current financial situation means that we can't do that I will meet up with you later in the day I will let you know what's been going on and then we can hopefully see the aspiration be completed in this episode and then you guys can decide what you want me to do next okay so update we currently have three things on plopsy we we made a rug this morning which is legendary apparently we have the poof as well which is on plopsy and we have the beanie i don't know why it hasn't come up but we've only got two out of ten still which is super annoying because i obviously the legendary thing should have been added but we're just going to try and keep knitting things. We also, I also want to try and complete this today, gifting the three knittables. So I might get Christine to go over to uh, this house here and visit the family Carlins in that house. They are a really nice family that have got to know the family here. So I might get her to do that today. Philip came back from work, but we're going to get him to fish a little bit and try and get a little bit extra money. And also exciting, with the new Eco Lifestyle pack, well, fairly new, uh, we can vote for neighbourhood action plans. So I'm going to get him to do that. Hopefully he will level up in his aspiration too. Okay, so Christine has come over to the Carlin house. So I'm going to get her to gift something to Sheena here. Um, we'll maybe get them to chat a little bit and have a catch up. They fairly recently moved into this house. I built this for a challenge, I think it was. Uh, it's one of my favourite houses in The Sims. I just love how big it is. We can compliment the house and then we can maybe give her a little gift, like a housewarming gift maybe. We actually did give her a housewarming gift, but we'll give her another gift. Why not? Actually, no, I'll, I'll maybe do it through this just in case it doesn't register. Oh no, that's a bit poor. Let's give her, let's give her a better, let's give her a hanging plant. These are really, really nice. I really like these. So we'll gift it to Sheena and maybe Anna can come over and maybe chat with some of the kids, get to know Lucia, maybe. Maybe she can have a friend in the neighbourhood. So let's do that. I'm also going to get her to gift this little octopus to Lucia. Yay! Hopefully she likes it. And then that should complete. Yes. Okay, so we've got one more down in our aspiration this one's probably the trickiest one or this one's going to take the longest time because we need to create all the knittables and it can take like quite a few sim hours to do that we also need to do the knitted sweater which we can do actually we just have to go into create a sim and change that and anna met lucia but they didn't really i don't know uh let's oh there's actually food here let's grab some of this why not we're here it's uh i don't know what's going on here flirt with sheena uh no let's not do that let's not do that you're both married for goodness sake so we'll get them to get something to eat 
Maybe Sheena's invited them over for a little barbecue, get to know one another, that kind of thing. We'll get Lucia and Anna to have a little chat. But yeah, in terms of them getting along, Christine and Sheena, hopefully nothing romantic's going on there. I don't want drama. I don't want any drama. Yeah, we've got three things on Plopsy currently. The rug is really expensive. We might actually make more of them because they're like 400 smileyans, which is just amazing. But in terms of needs, uh, then both of their needs are pretty bad. They need to get some sleep and stuff. So I'll finish up this little barbecue here and I'll send them back home, get them to go to sleep and then I'll meet you again tomorrow and we can do a little bit more knitting. This is a little update. We are on to Saturday and we managed to get three of them done. So we managed to gift the three knitable managed to get level six and we also managed to show off the knitted sweater that Christine is currently modeling right now but we didn't really make any progress in terms of actually knitting anything just because I don't know why there's some kind of glitch where it's not working so I'm gonna have a little look at that over the next couple of days and hopefully we can get it sorted for the next episode and then hopefully in the next episode we can get this level of the aspiration done and then we have our last aspiration to do so we have to donate five knitted items to charity we have to achieve level 10 in knitting skills so we're on the way to doing that we have to complete five legendary knittables and then we have to teach another sim to knit so it should be fairly easy i hope well we went through it quite quickly at the start but it's starting to slow up a little bit in terms of actually getting the knitting skill it actually is quite quick i don't know if you guys have the knitting pack already most of you let me know if you do and let me know if this series is of interest to you uh whether it's kind of encouraged you to go out and buy it or whether you're still a little bit unsure about it obviously we've had the new Star Wars pack since then so I don't know if you've gone and bought that instead I think the knitting pack was a little bit of a flop I don't think anyone was that excited about it there was a, an initial buzz but I don't think people were think about it I mean I don't really think about it in my game there's actually a lot of outfits that I didn't even know about there's a lot of features that I didn't know about let me know if you wanted me to complete this let's play if you're still interested in learning about the knitting pack I mean there's not really a lot to learn about it basically the only things you need to know is the plopsy system which does which is quite tedious it takes a long long time for the things to sell and to be honest some of them you get lots of money for others you don't really you only get a little bit of profit and as a lot of people were saying, it's something that you can't really make a career out of just because of how long it takes for them to sell. Like this poof and this, this hat has been on for about a week in sims terms and this, this rug and the and the ottoman have been on for a long long time as well so the aspiration went quite quickly at the start and then it kind of slowed down a little bit because obviously we have to make 10 knittables and that takes a little longer so yeah let me know if you're still interested in this we do have a lot of thunderstorms at the moment in the world so that's not really helping in terms of the tenseness of the sims philip's still going to work but as you can see he's not making a lot of money we're still actually around the same money terms as we had at the start so it's not really great let me know what you think let me know if uh you are enjoying the sims pack as well let me know if you've actually bought it or not or whether it just kind of passed you by let me know that too but i'll come back with another let's play probably uh later this week so i want to complete this next level of the aspiration and make a dent in the next level so let me know what you think but in the meantime i hope you enjoyed the video guys i'm sorry it's been so so long since we uh met this family but we're gonna get it finished i promise you we're going to complete the knitting aspiration it is my task for this month so yes i will see you all in the next video i hope you have a great day bye guys